The owners of several Yemeni and Pakistani businesses in bed Brooklyn, say they are struggling to survive after their homes and stores were impacted by a fire. The CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reports the community is now rallying behind them. We have a bleak future. Now the restaurant is closed, so there's nothing for our family to go on. Asad Chaudhry owns a halal restaurant on Nostrand Avenue, one of several structures that was damaged after a fire broke out at an abandoned building next door on Gates Avenue February 7th. Authorities say two people inside were killed. We should have demolished that building five years ago, and this should not have happened. Two people died. Video shows the destruction to Zakaria Zohil's apartment. He lived above the deli where he worked. Uh, he started recording as the flames tore through his wall. You can hear his panic trying to get out. <laughs> Ever since, he's been living in his van, partly because he's out of a home, but also to watch his uncle's deli, afraid of looters. In cases of somebody want to break this business, I mean, the, the store and take whatever I still have left because it's almost, uh, I mean, everything is spoiled. The Department of Buildings found this strip of businesses, including a deli and restaurant, as well as three apartments above, were structurally unstable and issued this order to vacate. Now, in order to be allowed to re enter, they have tons of repairs. Tens of thousands, without a doubt. Just the restaurant equipment alone is going to be like at least 20, 30,000, something like that. The structural damage, I mean, could balloon the, the cost a lot. It's, it's hard to estimate right now. This landlord says his family had just switched insurance policies days before the fire and may not be covered. We're going to try and see if we can make a claim on the other buildings because they, they caused the fire. But the problem is right now, this is a absentee landlord. Now a GoFundMe has been started that's reached more than $30,000 to help pay for the construction. All I want to, to open up back my business. These families are hoping they can come up with enough money to get back to their lives and livelihood. In Bedsty, Brooklyn, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.